Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a little package through the post and I thought, what have I ordered? It's small, in tight boxy like. What have I got that I'm expecting? And I thought, I can't think of anything. So I have opened it to see who this was from and it's a lovely surprise. So let's get into it and have a look. If you remember, um, back in, gosh, where were we? About the end of August-ish, um, I did get a parcel from GBFKE and it was open when I received it and four items missing um, and I contacted the post office because it was obviously the post office that had the parcel had opened from and they said no their contract was with GBFKE so I had to claim for any missing items from them and these are the missing items. So let's have a look and we can now complete this order as to what I had missing. And thank you, GBFKE. Um, your customer service has been brilliant. Uh, they asked me for the details from the post office and they asked me uh, what was missing and to send photographs of the open bag, which I did. And I think it was two days later, I got an email saying that they had shipped the items and I'd forgotten all about that they'd shipped the items to me. And then they've arrived sort of about 10 days later. So that, I think that's wonderful. Really good customer service and um, very impressed. So for customer service, thank you, GBFKE. So let's have a look at... Uh, this first one, I think we can probably see what it is. Um, I do like to try the different things, the different projects that come out for diamond painting. There seems to be quite a few of these. Get it out of the crinkly packaging first. Okay, get rid of that. Right, so we either have a hedgehog here. No, it's a part of the brush. And it looks pretty good quality. It's quite a, a nice brush there. Yeah, I think you've maybe seen these around. Uh, we have our basic toolkit, pen, wax and boat. But all you need to be able to do your project. We've got your drills. Only a few because it's only a little project. And then we have, it's a hairbrush. And I've got a llama on it. Look at that. We are, it's got... Um, a flower in its mouth that it's eating or is that its whiskers oh no i think that's its whiskers oh no it's eating it's definitely eating because it wouldn't have whiskers with berries on <laughs> oh it's got flowers in its hair beautiful eyelashes look and uh, yeah all little different special gems there and i just like the colors of this as then it's like um like an ab isn't it really with your blue and your purple and your green all intermingled there all uh, sort of got a nombre effect going up and then yeah all your different colours so I thought this was quite nice so you'll diamond paint the back um it's just the uh, llama that is sticky the rest of it isn't but I, I would recommend sealing this if you are going to use your hairbrush and then once you've completed it um there's just just sort of extra ridge there and you will just push that into your hairbrush round about there okay and i will use this once i've done it i will use it and i'll let you know how it goes okay so that's that that's the little llama so let's just have a quick look at the gems that go with it Oops. it's like they're all uh your little sparkly gems and some specials Quite a few colours, so what have we got? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? I was just going to say, they all say number five on them, but that must be the design. There are quite a few different designs on this um, hairbrush now. I have seen quite a few about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there is. Do you know, I'm doubting my own uh, counting abilities now. I'll blame the weather. <laughs> So we've got like a goldy colour and like a chestnutty brown colour and a nice sunshiny yellow and a bright green and hot pink. And then all your little marquees, look, we've got your silver ones and a very pale gold one. 
and then we've got a lovely slightly bigger marking which is your uh, AB coated your green actually that matches the hairbrush look you've got your green and your blue AB um, coated so they'll be the bigger ones for the leaves in the um, posy on the hair is it a posy no can't remember what they're called and then your smaller ones look like they all come down here so yeah that's really really nice so i'm pleased that they've come um it would have been sad if i'd not got them at all and i don't really want to reorder them once i've already ordered them so let's just find a bag to put that one in uh, oh that one's a bit big okay let me just put this to be honest this is probably one of those little half hour projects and it'll probably get done tonight <laughs> I'll have a go with a new hairbrush. Let's pop that way around. Okay, so that's little number one. Take my little toolkits out the way. Now then, number two. These are for Christmas. And so come in. Let me just see the prices. The hairbrush. Sorry if you can hear Millie panting. Um, is round about the between eight and nine pounds, so quite a considered purchase, shall we say, for a hairbrush. But it's a bit of fun. I mean, it'd be a great present for a little girl or a little boy to do. Um, as I say they do do different ones. You know, maybe they'll brush the hair a bit more if they um, have their own hairbrush that they've made. I don't know about you, but I tend to find um the grandchildren particularly because they've got really really long hair and it's really good thick hair that they tend not to really want to brush it very often <laughs> and uh, they'll sit there looking like dragged through a hedge backwards um, and they say have you brushed your hair and they'll say no and don't hurt me and uh, so uh, yeah mm. anyway uh, right so it's just a basic toolkit again pen butt and wax and then these are little key rings or keychains, um, and they're a good quality one. You've got your, if I can get into them. I think we've got 10 here. And there looks an awful lot more than 10 keychains, but we'll have a look. So, what have we got? One, oh, I see. Two, three, four, five. So we've got your lobster claw clasps, which I think are always the best because they're so easy to use. You've just got your little lever and it just opens your little mouth there. If you can just see there, it just opens it up so they're easier to get on and off. Okay, and then we've got these little chains which have the like hook and eye uh, fastening there. I don't know if you can see that. And that will just, oops, just slots. Sorry, it's really difficult doing this sort of at arm's length on a camera. Uh, that little bauble just slots into there and then that just fastens like that. So you get your little keychain. So you've got, so what have we got? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those as well. Okay. So we seem to have an awful lot. I don't think we've got that many keys. See how many is here? I'll make two packs in. Let's see. Oh, unless there's more than ten. Two, four, six again. So we've got twelve of those. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so strange numbers, but maybe a few spare. So let's have a look at the key chip keys. The actual bit that goes on them that you diamond paint. Oh, where's the end? Where's the end? Okay. Oh, Millie, panting dog. Oh dear, oh dear. She won't go downstairs. Somebody, for whatever reason, was letting fireworks off late yesterday, would you believe? September, and somebody's letting fireworks off. And it was like 
between 10 and 11 yesterday morning. She wouldn't go out for a walk. She didn't want to play. She was really, really upset. Um, a really big bang went off as she went out the door. So she wasn't a happy bunny yesterday. Um, so she's been very clingy at the moment. Right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, so yeah, we've got enough lobster core clasps and a lot more of the little chains. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me just find a little bag to pop those in because these little bags are no good. And we'll then have a look at the designs. So let's pop all these in. So these are just um, like cellophane card bags that I use. Uh, when I used to sell my cards, uh, I used to put everything into a cellophane bag just to keep them tidy. But they've been really, really handy for my diamond painting. So, these are just single-sided little, um, they're acrylic shapes. And you can see there, look, you've just got your bits of burning where um, they've been cutting out with the laser. It just sometimes catches and you just get a bit of burning. They've got the white backs, which I like because that means you've got a backing on it. It makes them easier for me to see to do. Um, you've got, oops, nice clear drill field and your little draining circles on the black there, but not on the rest of it, so that's good. So we've got a little Santa with a star and ringing his bell and he looks, he's got his eyes closed and he looks like he's ringing it, but he's got a big smiley face, so he's nice. You've got your hole cut at the top there, so you can see that, yeah. You can just see the hole there. So that's where your keychain goes through. So you'll just diamond paint. We've just got a oops, piece of plastic on the top and it's all sticky underneath. So you'll just diamond paint that. Again, if you're using them as keychains, or I quite often put these if you're doing um, a gift bag for somebody for Christmas um, or a present, I put these on the present or on the gift bag. So that they're like a little extra rather than just a gift tag that uh, they throw away. There's just something um, that they can keep and put on the tree or use as a keyring or whatever. So a few different uses. Okay, so that's number one. We then have, oh, let's have a look. We've got another little Santa there with his presents. And he's got uh, a really shiny nose. It looks like his belt buckle's got the same shine as his nose. Again, he's got his eyes closed, but you can tell that he's really, really smiling there. And uh, he's carrying two great big presents, so he's a lovely one. So that's number two. Then got some candles. Uh, not a great fan of uh, candles and holly. Some people like them. Um, it tended to be, you know, when you used to get those mixed boxes of Christmas cards and you had the candles and the holly, it tended to be... Uh, the person that you'd forgotten about that ended up with that one. <laughs> I always left them till last or I didn't use them at all. Uh, but I just think this will be quite pretty and very Christmassy. It might look nice as a Christmas decoration with uh, all the gems on it there. Okay. And then we've got a bell. Very Christmassy. It looks like we've got some nice uh, sparkly larger red uh, drills in the middle there. And... Uh, yeah, a bit of sparkle. Okay, so I've got that one. And then, oh, look at this one. It's Rudolph. And he's got a little red nose. I would suspect that that will be a red gem there with his little scarf on. They're all very happy, these. I like the little characters. And again, you've got your ring there for putting uh, your keychain through. Okay, They're quite light as well, these. Um, so if you're wanting to, say, use them, on a greetings card um, what you could do is cut um, an aperture out the middle of your card and have these hanging in your card so that they're like a, a hanging decoration in the middle which then can be taken out of the card and used I'll always go back to card making uh, that's my background that's a lot of the crafting that I've done over the last oh gosh 15 16 years I think I've been heavily into uh, card making that's when i started uh, with my craft room <laughs> and then it expanded uh, so we've got a little cute gingerbread man very happy with his bow tie on. ok 
Okay, so that's the first six. Let's just move that box out of the way. Let's put these here so you can see them all. Get rid of that little bag. And we have a little stocking with uh, parcels and candy canes. Okay. And oh, for the gingerbread man to live in, we've got a little gingerbread house. It's got a little tree outside and a huge wreath. Goodness me, that wreath's as big as the tree, look. Wow, that's a wreath and a half. <laughs> and your little chimney on top. Okay, and then, we, oh, look, I like this one. I think this is my favourite so far. Little smiley snowman with his scarf on. Must be blowing in the wind, look, his scarf's up. And his little hat. That's nice, a big smiley face and his carrot nose. Okay, and then we have a Christmas tree. With a big star on the top there and a big bow. These are really pretty. I like these. And we also have a wreath. Now that would be again definitely nice in a card if you've got a, a decorated edged card and just have that hanging from an aperture in the middle. I think that would look quite pretty. It's uh, very nice. It's got star decoration there as well. And then finally, oops, I can't pick it up. Your candy canes in the shape of a love heart. How sweet is that? That's lovely. And it's got a little heart bow, look, heart in the centre of the bow. So it's like the holly leaves, the berries have formed a heart. So that's lovely. I like that one. Okay, so that's your 12 of the key rings. So that's a nice little set. And I think, let me just double check. They were around about the £8 mark, so less than a pound each, which, you know, is uh, very, very good. And let's just have a look at the drills. Looks like we've got a mixture of your acrylic drills and your special drills and your gems. Okay, so we've got... Plain white there, which will be your B5200. Um, there's no DMC code with them. We've got a lovely, nice Christmassy red, green and gold there. And then your blacks. And then another darker gold. A nice blue. And that one's like a deepish brown colour. And that's like a slightly lighter brown. And I've noticed this one in quite a few recently. Um, it's like a peachy colour and it's really, really pretty rather than it being a gold. You get like the peach and it just gives you a slightly different tone on your uh, decorations. And you've got a, a pale gold, your nice little gold stars look, some uh, half sphere. Uh, they're not faceted, they're just uh, half rounds there. Um, white and red and then are they faceted? Yep, and then they're half faceted oh, that's difficult to say be careful Liz uh, gold ones so some good gems in amongst all those okay, let's pop those into this little bag that'll be a nice project to do so I do like to do them uh, to put on Christmas parcels and oh you could even actually hang these say from a string and put your Christmas cards on them um, if you've got any of those little wooden uh, pegs or acrylic pegs, you could hang that from underneath and put them on a hang that from underneath and put them on a string, you know, like a scalloped string um, across the wall, and then you could put your Christmas cards on them, which would look quite nice. So sorry, I'm always uh, thinking up these extra things. <laughs> I don't think my brain ever goes to sleep. And then finally, oh look, he's got torn. This is this is a present for hubby because he is absolutely monkey mad. And this is an acrylic. Sorry, this is a like a stone corked back tile. So it's a coaster. Um, and I've wanted one of these for a while. And then when I saw that they had them in amongst these, I thought I'm going to get one. So it's a nicely inset cork back. So it's not going to move around. It'll also insulate it as well. So that if the um, tile on the top gets hot, 
and you've got it on your nice wooden table albeit possibly don't do that try it first um then the heat shouldn't transfer through because the cork should uh, stop the heat from coming through there and it's oops oh it's a sticker on top of a tile so how do we get the top off there you are just carefully peel that back so the whole thing is sticky it's similar to those um little paintings that you can get where it's not a full drill but the whole of the project is covered uh, they're not all butted up right next to one another they're like scattered about um, in a pattern but uh, yeah it's a little monkey's face so we've got the black outline there and then we've got all your different gems I think there's a couple of different sizes possibly these look a bit bigger hopefully because they're all training circles on them and then little pink cheeks and his little uh, mouth there so yeah but i just thought that was quite useful and there are again quite a few different ones of those so let's have a look what we get in the box what's in the box oh okay all different packets of gems right so we've got oh that's the opaque wax um if you can see through the wax when it's really really see-through pink like that it tends to be not quite as sticky and not quite as good as the red wax for whatever reason i'm not sure uh maybe different qualities different strengths i don't know but i tend not to use that but you know it, it's enough to do and you will need to if you're going to use this to put drinks on you will need to seal it anyway um and what i would do with sealing it is possibly try and get the sealer so that it levels it out so it's flat so you're not going to be cockling over when you put um, your cup on it I wouldn't put say a wine glass on it with a fine bottom or a fine stem because it may be a little bit wobbly but certainly mugs and drinks cups and things like that should be fine uh, so yeah Ben Ben who's Ben <laughs> and then these are strange drills look these have come I think uh, what came in these oh the little owl notebooks that I did came in funny little packets like this um so we've got a b there so that's your letter b which is uh oh that's your little pink bits and your square there look is your little outlines and then we've got a which is all the outside edge and then we've got v yeah they are slightly bigger look they're bigger than normal size gems your black is your normal uh resin gem there or your, I think these will be acrylic, they feel very light. And um, your normal gem size. They look like the normal size. They're a bigger size and they're, they're a bigger size as well. So yeah, you've got uh, different sizes, but that's a different way of uh, packaging your gems. But yeah, so that's your little coaster. Okay, so will he fit in the bag now? him in there keep that little bag it will be handy for actually look at that and i will put my keychains in there and then they are sealed in there look at that ah, i like repurposing things so the keychains are all nicely in there okay so we ended up with a look we've got a lovely little coaster we've got your set of the keychains there and your hairbrush so that's all the items that we're missing from my order so my order is now complete um and no hassle really whatsoever other than having to send a few emails so you know that was really really good um impressed with the customer service so thank you gbfke okay that's me done so i hope you've enjoyed seeing these if you have if you just give me a like and if you want to see what i get up to next and see these completed if you press the subscribe button down here and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come out so thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now